Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to enable package install on your PS Vita. This is the easiest way to do it. Um, so, first thing you want to do is you want to go to my GitHub and download. Um, there's a link in the description. Uh, when you want to go down and download PKG Enable and optionally a PKG Changer if you want to try out the other ones. But I'm just going to and download PKG. I'm just going to install both of these. So, PKG Enable. Alright, and PKG Changer. Alright, now that is done, you hit the PS button. Alright, now you want to go down to find those apps that you installed. So here we go. Enable package install and change package install. So first thing you want to run is enable package install. Change package install is only if you want to change which package install you're using. So here if you um, see some text right up and then bam, you have these three options. Which basically reads, press X to enable the text kit package install, which is the recommended one. Then square is the dev kit package install, and circle is major Tom's package install. So, this is, um, basically, these all have different things. So the test kit package install, um, is the only one I know of that I can actually get to install DRM3 packages. However, I've heard major Tom's one that can install, um, PSP games. But I haven't actually tried that. And same with the dev kit one, apparently it can as well. But I've never actually tried. Um, they both have a host sale option as well, and this one doesn't. Um, but yeah, the test kit package is also one I'm going to be using because it's the only one I know how to actually get to work. So I'm just going to press X and then the system will reboot. Alright, and when it reboots... Just enable Henkaku. Alright, and now you'll see down here, the package install, and you can run this, and if you chose to test the package install, you can run it even without Henkaku on, and yeah, it works, I don't have a computer to really hook it up to right now, I'll show you, but it works. Now say you want to try out a different package install, now that's where change package install comes in handy, you just stop that. And you get greeted with these options again, and you can change it to whatever one you want. So, uh, say I want to try out the dev kit package, so I just push square. The system will reboot again. And to show you that the test kit and dev kit ones don't require Henkaku to be enabled, I'm actually going to show you it without launching Henkaku. Here, the package install, and you'll notice it has a host sale option. See, host sale package and package content manager assistant. And you see, I have a Fankaku on. So, the next one is the major Tom package install, which only works if you have Fankaku.
Alright, so the next one is Major Tom's package install, which does require Henkaku. Um, and these are just all package installs that I know of. There are like three of them. It's one major, one major Tom patch, and it's the dev kit and test kit ones. So Major Tom's patch does actually require Henkaku to be enabled, but we're gonna try it anyway. We can enable Henkaku because, well, that's the thing we can do. So now I can launch a package and install, and this is Major Tom's one, which basically, yeah, it's the same as the dev kit one. However, this one actually, I believe, comes from the retail, and they've modified it to work. Now, I do plan on making another package and install. Um, I'm going to try and patch um, SCE Syscon is Kex, or whatever the Syscall is. Which is what it checks. Um, it runs that whenever you launch package install normally, and it will close it if it's not true. And then it should act just like on IDU mode, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's about it for this video. I want to show off every single package install, and yeah, I'm gonna go to the test kit one because that's the one I will I want to actually be using. But yes, yeah, see you all in Yado.